Hey guys, in this video I want to talk about whether or not somebody who is not very good at math can be a data analyst. So first of all, I want to say if you're asking yourself this question, then it's a smart question to ask, right? Because you don't want to put in all the time and all the effort into learning a career path if it's something that doesn't match with your way of thinking, right? That it's going to be something that's very difficult for you. This career path is definitely not for everybody, and the fact that you're answering that question is a good thing. It's a smart question to ask. Now, as for the answer to that question, well, it's a little bit more complicated than just a simple yes or no. So, the first point is that you don't actually have to do any math as a data analyst because the computer does it all for you. Right? You're using a selection of computer programs that all have calculations built in. Right? So you never have to do a multiplication problem in your head or even on paper. You just tell it to the computer and the computer does it for you. Now, that said, even though you don't have to do math, you do have to understand math to some extent, right? Because you have to tell the computer what calculations you want it to do and you have to understand what the computer is doing. Now, the math that you do is, is very simple, right? It's all just basic arithmetic. I mean, it's, it's nothing beyond a sixth grade level. Uh, you're not gonna do any geometry, you're not gonna do any calculus, you're not gonna do like matrix algebra, right? It's, it's all just very simple math. Basically, the, the most complicated that it gets is fractions and percentages. So if you can understand how fractions and percentages work, then, then that's good on the math side. So let me give you an example. Let's say that your project is to look at the increase in revenue for your company from, uh, from last month to this month, right? You wanna see, okay, we sold this much money, we made this much money last month, we made this much money this month, what's the difference in percentage terms from last month to this month? So what you might see is a uh, table that has, let's say this is your tra transaction. You have transaction one for $10 and then transaction two for $20 and transaction three for $15, etc. And then you have, uh, you know, you have the month here. So let's say that this is, this is all May, 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 and then you have, you know, a bunch of different things for April and such. So what you have to do, first of all, is you have to get two numbers. You have to get the uh, this month revenue. Let's say that this month is May. And last month revenue, right? So the first thing you have to do is you have to tell the computer to add this all up. Add up all of the stuff for May and put that as this month revenue. And so let's write some for April here. So let's say 25 April, uh, 20 April, right? And then you have to tell the computer to add up all this for this month revenue. And then where it says April, you add these up for uh, last month revenue, right? So, so far it's just basic addition. Right? You're just telling the computer to add these things that, that are all within the same month and then add these things that are within the same month. Okay, and then once you have those numbers, and let's, let's just give an example. Let's say that this month is $150 and last month is $100. Right? Just real simple numbers to work with. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to have to tell the computer to calculate the percent difference from this month over last month. So what you want to do is you want to tell the computer, again, you don't have to calculate this. You just tell the computer that, uh, let's call it month over month percent equals this month minus last month revenue divided by last month revenue. And so that's it, right? And that's going to equal, I mean, in our example, it's going to be, what, 50%. So we had a 50% increase month over month. And again, I just, I just calculated in my head uh, because the numbers are so simple, but you're always going to have the computer to do these calculations for you. So that's it. That's really about as complicated as it gets. So 
If you were able to follow that, if you can do basic percentages, if you can do basic fractions, you know, adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing, uh, and again, not even doing it yourself, but just telling the computer to do it and understanding what the computer is doing, then that's really all the math that you need to be a data analyst. I was actually talking to a guy recently who, who goes to my church, and he told me that he just started working as a data analyst about a year ago. And, and I thought that was cool because I'd known this guy for a while. I never knew he was a data analyst. And he told me that he absolutely hated math. He was horrible at math when he was in school, but he loved being a data scientist. He was good at it and he loved it. Uh, and so it, it really is a different skill set. Like there is some math involved, but it's, it's really, it's more logic than math. It's more putting logical steps together than actually doing mathematical equations. Now, one point of confusion though, is that a lot of people confuse data analysts with data scientists. Data scientist, and I made another video about this, data scientist is a completely different job that's uh, it's like data analysis, it's like being a data analyst, but with a lot more requirements, including a lot more math and including very advanced math. If you wanna be a data scientist, you have to be able to use calculus, you have to use matrix algebra. It, basically, you're building these complex mathematical algorithms to try to predict what's gonna happen in the future. It's, uh, it, it's pretty difficult stuff, so if you are not a math person, then data scientist is probably gonna be pretty intimidating for you. However, being a data analyst is, is much more realistic. There's a little bit of math, but it's very simple. So I hope that gives you a little bit more clarity about whether a data analyst career would be a good fit for you. If so, if you do want to move ahead and you would like to actually get hired as a data analyst as fast as possible, then I would love to help you do that. If you didn't already know, I have a program called the Data Analyst in Eight Weeks Coaching Program where I am going to teach you everything that you need to know to become a data analyst and guide you to getting hired as a data analyst. And the point of the program is to get you hired as fast as possible. So if that's something that's of interest to you, then you can click the link below and book a call with me or a member of my team. When you click the link, you'll go to an application. You'll answer a few questions about yourself that let us know you and your situation a little bit better. And then when you talk to us, We'll just get an idea of where you are, where you would like to be, whether or not this program is a good fit for you, right? Because there, there are two things that we wanna figure out. Number one, we wanna figure out, can we be confident that we would make you successful, right? Based on where you are, based on what your skill set is, can we make you successful? And then from your end, we wanna figure out whether or not it would be a good fit for what you're looking to do. If this is going to meet your lifestyle goals, if this is going to be a career that's gonna be satisfying for you. And if the answer to both questions is yes, then we'll tell you a little bit more about the program and invite you to join. So if that sounds good to you, then click the link below, answer a few questions about yourself and book a call with me or someone on my team. And then I've also put another link below for a free presentation on how to get a $70,000 plus job as a data analyst with no skills, no college degree, and no work experience. So if you have not already watched that presentation, please click that link, watch that full presentation before you book a call with us because that's gonna give you a lot of the background information that you need to understand this position and understand whether or not it's gonna be a good fit for you. So go ahead and watch that presentation if you haven't already. If you have already watched that presentation, then click the link below and schedule a call with us and I'll see you very soon.